Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont, and I got another rant for you today, but I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We have crossed over the 4,000 subscriber number, and we are creeping towards 4,100. Help us get there today. We greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Ring that bell and become a member of the Come On Now, the podcast family. Let's jump on in. You know I had to do it. You know I had to do it after watching that game last night um, where the Las Vegas Aces laid a beat down on the Chicago Sky by the tune of 90 to 71. Angel Reese goes for 12 points and 16 rebounds. Yes, sir. Another double-double. Oh, yeah, she shot four of 12. 33% from the field. How many more times can we watch this brick lane freaking contest occur before someone on national television actually calls this dreck out? At what point do you call it out? ESPN, you know, what's happened to Monica McNutt and Carolyn Pick and Andrea Carter? I have not been watching uh, First Take all that much of late, but I can tell you this, when I was, and even when I was, I was seeing lots of first take clips featuring the likes of Monica McNutt, Andrea Carter, and Cheney, and Carolyn Peck, and all those Caitlin Clark naysayers. So where have they been? Did Stephen A. fire them? Did Stephen A. say I've had enough of these individuals on my show trying to show me up? and me not being able to respond to them, what's going on? Where are they? Because I haven't seen them in quite some time. Um, it's funny that how they magically disappeared when Caitlin Clark is has been going absolutely crazy. And I know football has started and all that stuff, but that's not why they disappeared. They disappeared because Caitlin Clark has clearly taken over this Rookie of the Year race. I mean, she was winning it way back when even though they refuse to acknowledge reality, but she's completely taken this thing over. It's not a race. It's unanimous. And anyone who votes for Angel Reese with a first place vote should lose their vote. But where the hell is Monica McNutt? Where is she? Let me Google her. Where is Monica McNutt? I haven't seen her in quite some time. I mean, her colleague Shannon Sharp called her out on his on Nightcap. Did a video on that that we dropped this dropped last night. Um, but I don't see her anywhere. And that's where I get, I think it's kind of funny. You don't see these individuals who had a lot to say about a lot. Uh, here I am on Monica McNutt's Twitter page. She had what's today? Today is oh nine four. Holy lord. Not today is September 4th. Monica McNutt has not had a tweet since August 11th. This is the broadcaster uh, analyst for the New York Knicks. This is someone who's on ESPN. Where the hell has she been? She's been on a month-long vacation during the core of the WNBA season? I thought she was a WNBA fan. I thought she loved the WNBA. I'm going down her tweet list because I'm doing that because I'm going to be just like everybody else now. Where is she? She is invisible. You don't see anything here on on Twitter from her anymore. Yeah, she she was never doesn't seem like being a really active tweeter, a tweet person, but yeah, I don't see her on here not for quite some time. Let's see if she has any replies to posts. I mean, nothing. 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 Let's go look for the other one. Let's go look for uh, Chini, because I just I just think it's kind of funny how they were really loud and, and boisterous and puffing the chest out and all that and that stuff, but now when it's time to to show up and cash and and, and re respond to the receipts, there's nowhere nowhere to be found. Why is that? Why is that? I mean, Chini Agumake is still tweeting. Let's see here. She's here on the Lakers bra. This is this is NBA stuff. No, that's old. Uh, um, I, I'm looking to see. Oh, 
She has a tweet on September 3rd. I have so many thoughts about the current WNBA discourse, but this is the only time of year our show is on hiatus, so I'm protecting my peace. Ha! <laughs> Pardon me if I don't laugh. Why would your show be on hiatus during the stretch run of the WNBA race for the playoffs? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm just going through, again, nothing. She had before that she didn't have a tweet since a real one since August 27th thanking Stanford for I guess putting her in the Stanford Hall of Fame. I guess she mentions her sister a bunch, but tell me why she's not mentioning yeah since it's been since really August 13th. Why is she not mentioning Caitlin Clark? I I, I I'm just curious. I, I genuinely am curious at this point because don't tell me it's because you're you're, you're your show is on hiatus. Why that would be, I don't even know. But again, let's look at Carolyn Beck. She's uh, She actually did the broadcast last night for the Las Vegas Aces Chicago Sky game. Convenient, ain't that? So she's broadcasting games, but not a lot of comments. There's no comments here. Why don't they ever, why don't they ever show some love? What is the problem with it? There's nothing. They they give they give Lynn Clark no flowers as she's mauling the league. Let's look at this last one. No flowers whatsoever. Let's go look at Andrea Carter. Where has she been? She doesn't have a tweet since August 16th. I don't know. I don't know. Again, nothing. No love whatsoever. No love. No respect. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what you see scrolling across your screen. Last night, as I mentioned, the Las Vegas Aces laid the beat down to the Chicago Sky, who are in a free fall of epic proportions, and I don't think the Chicago Sky is going to win another game. They are awful. They are awful, and the way they play is painful to watch. And what you are seeing is a team that has no guard play. They decided to trade their best guard, their best shooting guard. They can't shoot the ball anymore. Their next, their best player has been in the hospital, now in the hospital. Don't know what's going on with Kennedy Carter now at this point. I have no clue. But end of the day, where she is, we have no idea. She's been ill. Don't really know the, 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 the complete status of her situation. I hope she's okay. I hope she gets better if she actually, you know, from whatever the hell she has, because that's not pleasant. All that said, Angel Reese goes for four for 12, has 16 boards, 12 points, minus 16 when she's on the floor. She misses eight more shots. She's 33%. She continues to have a brutal, brutal shooting percentage since the All-Star break. But guess who was in the stands in courtside to see her play? The one, the only Cheryl Swoops. Tell me how, who, tell me how you feel without telling me how you feel. How many games has Cheryl Swoops attended of Caitlin Clark? How many games? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. She went to the one that... <laughs> She played Angel Reese, and that was the only game that Angel Reese got the victory in this year over over the Indiana Fever in that one point. I think it was a one-point win. One-point win where Angel Reese kind of went bananas on Melissa Smith and gave her a, a lesson. But beyond that, I've not seen Cheryl Swoops at any Caitlin Clark games, no Indiana Fever games, nothing. Not sitting courtside like a fan. She's in Vegas. She doesn't live in Vegas, I'm pretty sure, because she does Dallas basketball games. So I presume she lives in Texas. I presume she lives in Dallas. Um, and I know she does Gilbert Arenas' show once in a while. So who the hell knows? I don't know where the woman lives. I don't really care. But she's courtside for an Angel Reese game against the Aces, and the Aces drop kicked them, and I'm guessing – you know, you see at the end of the game, there's a there's a tweet from Angel Reed that they take a picture together. Um, like, 
Come on. So it, it's isn't it isn't it ironic that the day after, or two days after, two days after uh, Cynthia Cooper is seen calling Caitlin Clark the absolute truth and taking pictures with her and Kelsey Mitchell after the game in Dallas, that you would see Cheryl Swoops in Vegas to see Angel Reese play and take a photo with her right after the game. Isn't it ironic? Does that, that doesn't, if that doesn't tell you <laughs> what it is, I don't know what does. There's no question about it. But it's gotten to the point where we already know. We already know, but she's just carrying on this shtick for as long as she can carry it on. She's doing everything she can to make this drag on. Drag on. So uh, Angel Reese, I guess, tweets or Instagrams or whatever the heck it was, social media. This looks like Instagram. Tears, laughter, and smiles with the GOAT today was much needed, Reese wrote in her post. Love you forever at Air Swoops. Did you call Cheryl Swoops the GOAT? With all respect, I mean, Cheryl Swoops was really damn good in her time. She was a great player in her time. The GOAT. I don't know who you would call the GOAT in women's basketball. I think there's people that have a number of players that may have arguments to that. I think the first one is probably going to be Maya Moore, who won four rings in eight years. I think she's probably the one that could stand on that podium better than anyone at this point in her in, in time. She's a four-time WNBA champion, 2013 Finals MVP, League MVP in 2014. I, I mean, it could be Maya Moore. You you could go back and look at. Uh, I mean, she's five-time first-team All-NBA in eight seasons, two-time second team. So in seven in seven of her eight years, she was first or second team All-NBA. You know, you could go look at potentially Lisa Leslie. I'm sure she's a, she'd probably be in that conversation. Cynthia Cooper would be in that conversation. I'm not saying that Cheryl Swoops couldn't be in the conversation. But I think there are players that are better. I mean, Lisa Leslie was a three-time WNBA MVP, two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, eight-time All-Star in 12 years, first team eight times four. So in all of her 12 years in the WNBA, she was first or second team All-NBA, All-WNBA. So there's players that have arguments that I think would probably stand better than Cheryl Swoops, just my opinion. That's cute. And obviously, I know why she's saying it. At the same time, let's be real. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. You're showing us who you are. You're showing us your face. You're showing us you really you you had to be there because you had to show us that. Screw Cynthia Cooper. Screw Caitlin Clark. I'm gonna be there, and that's what it's gonna be. But again, what do we expect from Cheryl Swoops? She had to go see another 33% shooting percentage for the player that she calls a dog because she rebounds the ball. What are your thoughts on that? Love to hear your comments. Let me know in the, let me know your thoughts and comments in our comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, share this video, become a member. Come on now. See you soon.